Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Uh, today we are talking all about power planter augers. You guys know if you've watched a few of our videos before that we are big fans of these because they make digging holes to plant plants in so much easier. And we are lucky enough to have partnered with power planter to make this video. Today we're gonna take you through all the things that you need to know about using the augers, uh, the drills that you use with them, all the different sizes and how to dig a hole. So if you're not familiar with Power Planter, they are a company based in the US that makes augers of all different sizes. They make them for landscapers and for DIY homeowners, just the everyday gardener like, like us. us. Yeah. So um, we have been using them for a while. And if you watched our last few videos, you have seen us use this bigger auger. Um, and so we wanted to use that a few times. This is brand new for us, but we wanted to use it a few times just to get the hang of it and to get all the tips and tricks that we need to share with you guys. So power planter augers come in a variety of sizes for planting tulip bulbs yeah. or maybe some really small plants um, like some of our seedlings, <laughs> or uh, they come in the, the three inch size, which is what we've been using with our hand drill, which is really great for um, annuals. It's also just a really great size to have in general as a starter um, because you can kind of rock it back and forth and get some bigger holes. But if you've got heavy clay like us, you may want to spring for some of the bigger sizes, um, which we, you will need the bigger joist drill or the cement drill. Um, we've got the joist drill here. I think the cement drill has been out of stock for a while. Yeah. Um, but we really like this one. It's got a nice um, handle that comes out the side that you can get uh, really stable on. Uh, but these augers come in 5 inch, 7 inch, 9 inch. Um, but we've got the 7 and 9 inch here. And those are really great for some of your bigger perennials and shrubs. These size augers can come with a heavy duty tip which is what we opted for because we have really hard, heavy clay soil here in North Carolina, um, and it cuts through like that. Yeah. It is super easy. In addition to the width of the augers, they also come in different lengths. So maybe you're planting tulip bulbs and you don't want to be down on your hands and knees all day. Yeah. They make some really long ones, so you can just stand up and go all day long planting tulip bulbs um, or whatever you've got going on. Um, and not only are these great for gardening, but I think we're planning to use them in some of our DIY projects where we're maybe putting like fence posts in the ground um, or have other reasons to be digging holes. Yeah. They're very easy to use and I feel safe using them. Brian feels safe using them, uh, but you definitely want to be careful. So maybe let's talk about some of the uh, precautions you may want to use when you're using one of these augers. Yeah, so I think you definitely always want to wear gloves when you're using this auger. Um, that is just sort of standard, especially because it gives you better grip on the drill. And then if anything were to happen, your hands are a little more, more protected. We don't wear protective eyewear because we're in the garden and it doesn't really fling stuff up like that. Um, but you definitely probably want to wear like closed toed shoes, something a little stronger uh, because you're going to be standing kind of close to the larger auger, especially the smaller two. Um, you'll want to make sure that you have something to protect your feet. These get going kind of fast and you definitely want to have protection on your feet so you don't get caught up in it. So I wanted to show you guys the handle on this drill specifically. Um, and the smaller drill, uh, it's a DeWalt hammer drill is the smaller drill. Um, and like Tyler said, this is a uh, DeWalt joist drill. Um, and it comes with this handle that screws right into the side. It's super easy. Um, and I think this is where you get all your leverage because you're able to hold from both sides. So you'll hold from this side and from this side, and you can sort of prop this side on your knee a little bit while you're using it. And uh, I actually like the joist drill a little bit better than I think that I would like the cement drill because um, it's a little bit heavier and you do have to do a little bit less work when you're digging the hole. You kind of just let um, the auger go and it digs a perfect hole for you every time. Um, but the handle is what you really want to make sure that your drill has, whether it's a DeWalt drill or something else. Um, um, you can buy the augers by themselves without the drills. Um, so you just want to make sure that whatever you're using has some sort of a handle on the side so you can get that leverage and you feel strong and confident while you're using it. Um, so I'd love to show you guys how we actually put the auger on the drill itself. Um, we've been using this one, as I said, so it's a little bit dirty, um, but that's fun. Um, but we did save the larger one because we're going to use it today. Um, and I'll show you the clay tip on it um, and how to put it in the drill itself. 
Okay, so before I actually put this auger on the drill itself and show you how it works, I wanted to show the auger to you just in case you wanted to run out, get an auger, and attach it to a drill that you already have. Um, so this is the 9-inch auger from Power Planter, as Tyler said. Um, this is 9 inches wide, uh, which is really good if you're planting larger perennials or shrubs in larger cans. Um, and this one does have the heavy-duty tip on it, so that's this piece right here. Um, and what I like about that so far from using it is that it seems to make a sort of a pre-hole before the actual auger gets into the hole, so it digs deeper first. Um, and sort of guides the larger piece of the auger into the hole. It also checks for basically if it's going to run into any sort of big roots or rocks, that piece is going to run into it first, and that way this big auger doesn't catch it and sort of fling it around, or um, you know if you need to move your hole at that point. So that's why I really like this auger and the heavy-duty tip. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to put the auger on the drill. This is just a little Phillips head screwdriver style tool um, that you'll stick right into the front of the drill itself. And all that's gonna do is loosen the grip on the auger so that you can get it out of place. So that we'll just take that out, put the new one in, and then we're just gonna tighten this the opposite direction. Okay, so now that we have the auger in the drill, let's show you it in action. All right, so today we are going to be transplanting this arborvitae that has been in a container on our back porch. Um, we have really loved it in that space, but it's gotten way too big for the container and that's a perfect time to put it in the ground. So what I like to do first when we're using the auger is dig around in the ground. First thing, we know that this, if we have good mulch, which we don't have fresh mulch right, right here right now, but if we had fresh mulch, um, this is going to sort of sling the clay or the dirt around a little bit. So you want to make sure that the area right around the hole that you're going to dig is clear and you have all your fresh mulch backed away from that. That way you can just pack it right in afterward. The second thing I like to do is dig around in the dirt because in our garden we have laid uh, drip tubing all around so that we don't have to water. Everything waters automatically. And so if you have this, you wanna make sure that you dig around and um, place your plant outside of that area so that you're not gonna hit the actual drip tubing with your auger. It will cut a hole in your tubing. We have done that several times since we've gotten this larger auger. Um, and so all it takes is you digging around a little bit and making sure that there's no drip tubing there. And then you can dig the hole right in that area. So I'm gonna do that now. I think I'm gonna go right here with the plant. And so I have drip tubing right here. And I assume that there's probably drip tubing around this area because we've gone this direction here. So I'm just gonna go to this side of the drip tubing to dig my hole. So now that the area is prepped, I'm just gonna grab my auger and start digging. So like I said, you wanna pick it up like this so that you feel really secure. I'm gonna go right about here. That's a good spot. And then the trigger is right here. So you just wanna make sure that it's not in reverse. Um, and then you can go ahead and press it and start digging. So you can see as I'm digging the hole, the actual, the clay tip, the heavy duty tip will pull the auger down into the hole. You can also see that the auger bounces around a little bit in the hole, um, which makes it a little bit wider. And for me, that's nice because we want a wider hole. It works the dirt right up from the bottom to the top. And then we've got a perfect hole. So I'm gonna get all of the dirt that fell back into the hole out. This also makes the hole a little bit wider. And then I'm gonna drop some biotone fertilizer in so that those roots get all reestablished in their new space. And then I'm gonna drop our plant right in. Perfect. All right, now I'm just gonna backfill the hole with the dirt that the auger pushed right out. And if we had mulch, we would just push it right back over the dirt. And that's it. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna show you guys the smaller width auger that we have. 
Now, we've been using this one for a couple of years now, but we do use this a lot this time of year because it's a really great size for planting annuals. So as you can see, I've got four little osteospermums here that I'm gonna get in the ground. Um, this one, again, is three inches wide, 24 inches long, and it just slides here into our handheld drill, and then you simply twist to tighten it, and you're ready to go. Um, this particular DeWalt drill that we'll link in the description um, did come with this nice handle, which gives you some good leverage, just like the bigger auger. Um, now, I will say because this is a smaller drill, smaller auger, you may think that it is not as powerful or you can maybe, you know, be a little less safe. Uh, but you still want to use caution when you're using this because if you hit a root or if you hit some kind of rock, um, it, the, the drill can jerk. So that's just something to be aware of if you go out and buy one of these and you haven't used one before. Um, so I'm going to get to it. So again, we're going to scrape away the mulch here just so, whoops, just so that we're not making a mess. And I'm going to be cautious of my drip lines. I see one running right here. And I'm going to grab the drill and make a hole. Easy as that. One more. Okay. And I'll do the other two. Again, this makes planting a breeze and it can save your back from bending over all day long, digging with a little trowel, or maybe even with a larger shovel. Just simply squeeze the trigger. And you can see we've even got heavy clay soil in here and it is no match for this smaller auger even. Oop, I've got a drip tube right there, so let me go back a little bit. All right, and now we can get to planting. All right, so now that we have planted a few different size plants with these, I figured we'd tell you a little bit more about the auger itself. So obviously the large one, great for plants, especially for us, we're gardeners, but I do know in a few weeks, we're probably gonna take on another project, which is installing a fence ourselves. So I think the seven inch auger will probably work really well for digging post holes. So all we would do is do exactly the same thing. We go straight down into the ground and dig a deeper hole. So I think that the augers can be used for multiple things, not just obviously gardening, which is what we're using them for. I'm pretty sure landscapers use them for all sorts of different things. The other thing I wanted to mention was cleaning. Obviously we have heavy clay soil and there's some roots wrapped around that auger. So we'll probably wash that off after this and then dry it off just to make sure that we maintain these for a long time to come. I hope this helps you guys understand uh, how the augers work and how they work with different drills. And maybe this has inspired you to go out and get one of your own. If you'd like more information about power planter augers, check out the link below in the description. It's gonna take you to the power planter website where you can check out all of the sizes that they have available and see what maybe fits your gardening toolkit. Thanks to Power Planter for sponsoring this video. If you're enjoying our gardening content, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.